My most memorable student teaching experience was a few months ago getting ready to introduce a unit on statistics. Um, but my students were just really antsy that day, didn't really want to do a kind of traditional in-class lesson and just kept badgering me to go play basketball. Um, so eventually I said, okay, well we can go play basketball as long as we can like gather some data on this and do statistics. Um, and we ended up taking a few minutes out of the class, coming up with a plan for how we could gather data on their basketball game and analyze that later, um, and ended up just kind of improvising and playing basketball for the whole period. I think one of the most memorable experiences for me as a student teacher uh, was when one of my students in second hour came to me and asked if I was coming back next year because he really wanted me to teach him government. Um, that felt good for a couple reasons. One, like teaching is a pretty vulnerable job. You really do feel really on the spot and in front of a crowd every single day and it can be emotionally taxing and there were days where I felt like I might want to quit but then when some of my students, he wasn't the first, multiple have come to me and said they wanted me to teach them next year, that gave me the validation that I was good enough at the job and could do well in the future. Uh, my most memorable experience in student teaching was actually um, at part of an IEP meeting I was having with a student. This um, was a student who had been having a lot of trouble and um, we really wanted to meet, figure out um, how to help that student and hearing their response in things that I had been able to do in our, in our class together to um, engage them and get them more excited and just to feel like they were valued and um, that we were excited to have him there meant a lot to me and encouraged me to be able to help other students and to know that I actually had um, the skills or the passion to be able to do this and to do it well um, for my students. Just getting to serve over 900 students on a cart um, in elementary school, it was definitely a challenge at first. I felt like I walked into it like pretty awestruck, um, but just getting to know the kids and like my biggest goal for myself was like I don't have to know their names, but I just need to know like one fact about them and everything will run smoothly and I just think like the connections and the relationships you're able to build with people in such a short amount of time is like what I live for and I absolutely loved working at the elementary level. Um, I think my most memorable experience as a teacher on my education journey would be a culmination of just how much of a community the teaching department is. I mean really like I rely on the other student teachers and my classmates so much um, we've had a lot of good times and like we've been there for each other through all the struggles of student teaching and classes and coursework so that's definitely what I'm taking away from this. So we got to go to um, Durango Nature Studies. We got to hike down and then kind of just um, experiment down um, below about like what it means to be like a scientist and have like all these different um, stations to do like experiments and such. Being in the classroom every day. Um, and getting to see um, students grow. It's the best feeling in the world. My most memorable experience in my teacher education journey is probably the relationships that I've built not only with friends, but also with like every single student that I've been a part of. And being able to just be a part of their journey no matter what grade they are and everything like that. My most memorable experience in my teacher education journey, uh, I'm a full-time teacher doing alternative certification. And I had a student in my classroom, she was a junior. Um, it's primarily freshman, she was retaking it. And we just went over transcription translation, which is this biology thing. Um, and I didn't think she was that interested in biology, especially since she had failed it the first time. And she came to me and she thanked me because she just went to Boulder and was looking at a CU Boulder as a college option. And they were showing them all these cool uh, all these cool science things, all these labs that they were doing. And she was with a group of like 20 other people, 20 other like people looking at the college. And they started talking about proteins and DNA and RNA and evolution and stuff like that. And they were asking questions, questions about, you know, protein synthesis and all, what all these proteins do that she knew because we had just done that unit in my class. And so she was answering all these questions and she got to, they like invited her back to the lab and they showed her like all the really cool stuff in the lab. Um, and she really loved it. She got super excited because she, she like learned this thing that she was, or I had taught her this thing um, that and she had seen that it like helped her out in college at least or had got getting into college. 
Um, and I don't know. She was she was super excited about it, and it was. I teach freshmen, so I don't really I don't get to see the post high school uh, help too much. But it was really cool to see how excited they were. she was able to use her knowledge to kind of help herself.